Good afternoon. I think it's afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you will come back tomorrow. I am here with a little fancy kombucha cocktail to remind you to enjoy every day. Does <laughs> that sound so cheesy? I mean, that is what the Broke Car Project is all about. Um, but romanticizing your little parts of your life. So like. Right now, we're in that middle of the day time where I'm like ready for Peter to be done with work, but also like peak mess and like almost nap time. I don't know. And I like a treat. So I poured myself some mango juice with kombucha and it's gonna be the little yeah, pick me up. My, the little pick me up. <laughs> um, so yeah, reminder to do that today. Um, and we, we hope you enjoy the vlog. Taking a couple of Play Dohs out, like different colors, since Christmas. But today was the first time I, I like brought out the whole box, and James was so excited. We have some pink. We're gonna, we're gonna play with Play Doh. Excuse me, Teddy. Did you see that the house was lighting up over there? Nobody touched that. So the funny thing is about Play-Doh is that that is what caused this table to like start to, it's what like ruined the finish of this table was using Play-Doh on this because it has like, just like that oily bit, it started to peel. Um, we're actually going to, we have like a fun plan for this table for when we move. Um, we have a garage at our new place so we'll have more space to do fun projects like that. But, um, yeah, if you've ever wondered why our table looks like this, it's because of Play-Doh. So if you have watched the last few vlogs, you will know that Peter is very busy this week with work, um, having Monday off, and then he's off Friday to go to Texas with American Cancer Society. So he's been in meetings all day, but we have had some good news today. Um, we got put in touch with therapists that will be starting to work with James, occupational and speech. <laughs> um, this little one crawled over. Um, so speech and occupational therapists reached out. We got this schedule situated. <gasps> we just need some paperwork to uh, like say officially we're starting. So that is great. Also, Peter heard word of his like incentive program today at work and we're gonna treat ourselves to something. Um, and we're kind of doing it on a whim. Uh, and uh, it's a big deal. Uh, um, I'll, I'll clue you in. Oh my gosh, there's Play-Doh on the lens. So here is some artwork and we're gonna go get tattoos. And when I say we, I mean we. Meaning I am going to get the Chicago Stars and then this is um, what Peter's gonna get. So we found this knot online that he's fallen in love with like months ago. And it's an acorn, so it's like symbol of strength and potential. The eternity knot, which is the path of fatherhood. And then the heart that it makes 
for unconditional love. So he's going to get that on his hand, like to mirror where his moon is on his other hand. We have been talking about these tattoos forever and we kept on saying we wanted to get them before we moved away from Chicago, especially since I'd be getting the stars, um, which are from the Chicago flag. Peter has a Chicago flag tattoo and it's kind of like always been constant. I don't know if you've seen them. Every single thumbnail, there's a Chicago star. Um, and yeah, it's just something like my thing. I've always wanted a tattoo, but I, always knew that like because like my designer right I'm like always editing always changing I knew whenever I would decide to get a tattoo that I would need something that would like I would be so confident in and truly love and these stars are just like me through and through it means so much to me on so many different levels um and so yeah I it's like they're so classic like I know like they are what they are. They symbolize what they symbolize. And um, that stops, you know, my mind from being like, move it here, place it here. It's like, no, like, this is this is how they exist. And I'm going to keep it simple and just put them, do them black. You actually might see on my hand, I had, like, drawn them in. Um, so it's going to be, like, on my wrist, but on my other arm. Um, I drew them to just, like, see how I like them. And so... We have an appointment at 5 p.m. Hello, friends. I survived another crazy busy day at work. It's right, it, it simultaneously feels like it's still morning, and I'm so done with the day at the same time. Like, I'm like. <laughs> I think it's because it's been gloomy and rainy all day. I, yeah, I don't know. There's like a lot has already happened today, so I feel like it's a new day after the day we've had. And we're getting tattoos! I was gonna go in first. I'm nervous. Ah, tattoo time. All right, we have a Teddy who's playing with random stroller pieces. Oh, go ahead, chew on that. Jamesy who's still snoozing, and we think. I think mom's getting her tattoo now. She sent me a picture of the, the stencil on it. It looks great. So uh, I hope she's enjoying it. It looks great from the stencil. It's also steamy in this car now with all these bodies just chilling. But I'm excited for Sarah's tattoo. I'm excited for my tattoo. What a great Wednesday. Tomorrow's like my Friday because I'm taking off work Friday because of our ACS event. Um, excuse me. One, don't bite every single thing you see. And two, leave your brother alone. He's sleeping. Trying to wake him up? What? Yeah? Tell me. What do you need? Oh, I love you. Come here. Um, guess what? Mommy texted me. Her tattoo is done. Got the sunroof open for some rain. So sorry that the quality. We only we only brought the phone to film, but I'm all done. I am. I'm so happy with it. I've envisioned this tattoo for so, so long, but I really need to like feel committed and like feel like the artist I could trust. And Peter's gotten multiple tattoos with Lindsay. Oh my goodness. You see that baby? You see that cute baby? Um, and I will put Lindsay's Instagram handle here if you're interested um, in seeing her work and just her as a tattoo artist if you're in Chicago. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, finally got it. Are you talking? What do you have to say? <laughs> we are back. We're going to put our tattoo artist and in information down below if anybody is in the Chicago land area looking for a tattoo artist. She actually was at a tattoo party that we went to for my Epcot and for my Moon but she moved to a different location. So we decided to just go to her because we know she does great work. And she was just tickled that we drove a little bit further to her. And so she did Sarah's tattoo and my tattoo and she touched up my half moon because she did that one too on my hand. So we're all extra tatted up. Can you believe it? Wow. 
so it obviously that like tattoo. looks darker because of the like spread yeah. of the bandage. But it's nice and dainty but strong. I love it. Oh, and I, I know I need to get a good look at it because I haven't gotten a good look at it yet. And I know like I wasn't freaked out about it at all because like I've been mulling this over for so long that it was less about like being nervous about pain. It was like nervous that like I was committing to it, but I'm so so happy with it. Yes, and here is your official slight blood warning. If you don't like blood, skip like 10 seconds out because I'm gonna show mine and mine is bleeding a little bit. But here is my like Celtic fatherhood inspiration tattoo. So it's like a heart and an in, 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 like internal knot and a walnut all in one. No, an uh, acorn. Sorry, acorn. I did show it earlier in the vlog. And then she touched up, touched up my moon. But her name's Lindsay, she's super great. She was super nice about everything. And she even gave me extra new um, bandages to put on my hands because I realized earlier today when Sarah and I were talking about the tattoos, I was like, wait a minute, shake my hand. She shook my hand and right where you shake my hand is right where this new tattoo is. And I was like, I'm supposed to go to an American Cancer Society top performer conference this weekend and meet like over 70 other fundraisers and athletes and people from like the organization. So I'll probably be shaking a lot of hands. So I was like, can I have just a new like wrap? because it's a clear piece of tape that is really good on healing tattoos. Like it takes about, for tattoos this narrow, like it'll probably take four or five days for me and Sarah to be able to pull them off and be good. Wow. The boys are nice. Sarah and I have been talking about this since before our I'm wedding. Sarah and I, were gonna get Mickey and Minnie tattoos on Route 66, on our honeymoon. So we got married in 2015, so we were talking about it before that, that on our honeymoon we get Mickey and Minnie tattoos on Route 66 in some like biker lounge tattoo parlor. But we didn't. Um, so it is years and years in the making for Sarah to get a tattoo. And the day has come. Some of our furniture is arriving. And we got pepperoni for dinner. We ran out of time with the tattoos and all. Yeah. It's mac and cheese for you. Yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. Pickles? I got an Italian. Wow. That is over a foot long. <laughs> I got the Mediterranean. It's got chicken and feta and cucumber. I also got baked potato soup because I'm a sucker for it. Kind of ironic the people who don't eat meat typically are eating meat on Ash Wednesday. <laughs> Evie, is Teddy obsessed with you? Oh gosh. You better go fast. <laughs> Where's she going? Where's she going? Can you believe that Teddy is nine months old already? Are you gonna stand? Hey oh! <laughs> Good job, honey. He is crawling mobile, pulling himself up. Just the biggest kid. And he loves his doggy. He loves bath time. He loves when I put his sleep sack on. He gets so excited kicking. When you start to sing Small World, he knows we're gonna snuggle. He is the definition of a busybody. He likes to play with whatever toysies, toysies, <laughs> toysies that James is playing with. Much to the chagrin of his older brother. <laughs> likes the, he likes the camera. Yeah. He likes to drink water. Does Teddy nine months fly by faster than James in nine months? Yeah, I think so. Eating all kinds of foods. I think his favorite might be the banana. <laughs> and I love, <laughs> I love his crawling technique. He is loving bottles now, which is great. Two to three bottles a day. He's just living the dream. <laughs> He's thriving. <laughs> and he has his checkup next week, so we'll have more like, more updates then. But he, he is a lover boy. He's always going in for snuggles and kisses. And Nine months old. He is very active. Ba, 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 ba. And he only chills when I like put him in the sleep sack and he knows that we're gonna rela relax together. Otherwise, he is going. He loves Michelle Obama. <laughs> he does love Michelle Obama. That's her book right in the front there. And he's always like, when we pick him up, he's always diving towards it. So I don't know if we mentioned this or not, but James 
took a nap before we went and got our tattoos and he slept in the car the entire time we were there. He went up on the drive home. Um, so we had a late long nap and we were just about to like start bath and bedtime for him because Teddy already is. Um, and so he was up next. When I realized he was like quietly playing like in his own little world in the kitchen and I mentioned the bath and he kind of was like didn't seem like he was feeling it and I just was like this is just an opportunity to just let him be and have a little bit of a later bedtime. He took a really great nap. Why fight those things that should be peaceful and like winding down? Um, so I'm just gonna pick up on his his cues and see and see once he's kind of like disinterested. But right now he's enjoying himself and life's too short to interrupt that that sort of thing. Um, so of course we will we will get to our our nightly routine. Oh no, we found us some Play-Doh that was left out. Um, but for now, we'll just play. So cozy. You can sleep. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We're exhausted. What a day. Happy tattoo day. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. 